nature of culture and society is changing. And when I have permission in a talk to think big ideas, I talk about how we're weaving a new global brain. When I talk about weaving a new global brain, what I mean is that every little filament that connects us, online and offline, but, but online now, which is new, is sort of like a little dendrite, like a neural connection inside a brain. And when babies are gestating and then when, in their first uh, six months or so of, of growth, they are making neural connections at an astonishing pace. And uh, in fact, the neural connections are so difficult in that it, the, the analogy is, it's as if you were crawling from New York to San Francisco, avoiding all the roads in between, and then connecting up to a particular street in San Francisco. That's the job that's going on up here as a baby weaves just one brain. What's happening now when I friend you in Facebook and when someone else blogs about my blog and points to my post, my permalink, and then blogs about it elsewhere or blogs about mainstream media, or when somebody replies to a video that I posted online, those are all these little dendritic filaments, all of them. And they seem really worthless individually. And in some sense, most of them are. They're, I call them exhaust data. It's like, oh, who cares that Bob and Joe are now friends? or that Joan is now single, or whatever else. But what it gives you is this peripheral visual vision on your community, and it also lets you know what people are interested in, in a way you couldn't do before. And all these little dendrites are now the future paths for communication, for what should I buy, whom do I vote for, where should I live, what do we name our kid, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm.